The war in Ukraine continues to reshape Europe's military landscape, pushing NATO countries to escalate their defense initiatives. On October 17, 2024, the United Kingdom officially announced its participation in a significant program aimed at developing long-range missiles in collaboration with Germany, France, Poland, and other European partners. This joint effort seeks to fill the gaps in military stockpiles exposed by the conflict, where long-range missile use has proven to be a vital strategic asset. British Defence Secretary John Healy confirmed the UK's commitment during a NATO meeting in Brussels. Healy emphasized that the development program is part of a broader initiative to enhance the integration and effectiveness of European air defense systems. These advanced missiles are expected to surpass the capabilities of existing systems, aligning with NATO's overarching goal of bolstering deterrence and safeguarding Europe from external threats. The Missile Development Initiative, already backed by France, Germany, Italy, and Poland during the NATO summit in Washington in July, aims to create missiles with a range exceeding 500 kilometers. Military insiders suggest that the ultimate goal is the creation of a land-based cruise missile capable of striking targets between 1,000 and 2,000 kilometers away. This range is seen as critical to meeting NATO's growing deterrence needs, especially in light of threats from Russia. The UK's involvement underscores the program's strategic importance, as Europe seeks to enhance its defensive capabilities in response to heightened tensions with Moscow. According to Healy, these new long-range missiles will provide participating nations with advanced capabilities beyond current systems, including Britain's Storm Shadow, France's Scalp, and Germany's Taurus missiles, which are limited to a range of around 500 kilometers. In a related move, the United States and Germany announced plans to temporarily deploy U.S. long-range missiles on German soil starting in 2026. This includes advanced weapons such as SM-6 and Tomahawk missiles, as well as developmental hypersonic technologies. The deployment, intended as a stopgap measure until Europe develops its own missile capabilities, has been met with sharp criticism from Moscow, which views it as a direct threat to Russian national security. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, long-range missiles have taken on increased significance in the conflict. Russia has ramped up its cross-border strikes, while Ukraine has responded by targeting sites deep within Russian territory. In this environment, Europe's existing cruise missiles have played a crucial role, but their limited range has become a challenge. The new missile development program aims to address this shortfall, enhancing Europe's ability to respond to evolving threats and deter future aggression. Alongside the missile program, Secretary Healy also confirmed Britain's readiness to deploy troops to Estonia to reinforce NATO's eastern flank in the face of growing Russian aggression. Thousands of British troops are on standby for rapid deployment, part of the UK's ongoing commitment to European security. This military readiness reflects Britain's determination to be at the forefront of European defense efforts at a time when tensions with Moscow remain high. Britain's participation in the missile development program, alongside its readiness to support NATO's eastern borders, marks a crucial step in strengthening collective European defense. As the war in Ukraine continues to impact military strategies across Europe, NATO's focus on long-range missile capabilities and troop preparedness remains pivotal to ensuring regional stability and security.